Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, I do do both sides of my face today. I actually, just to get this video started, I already kind of played with and I did this side of my eye. Today, I wanted to do a review and a demo and talk a little bit about the new Milani Gilded Rouge Palette. If you are new here to my channel, first off, make sure to subscribe. But you know that I love Milani products. I love their eyeshadow palette so much they've definitely evolved from like their $10 palettes I feel like that was like the beginning of great drugstore palettes and since then they've had their like depending where you buy it I think like Ulta $20 but like Walmart you can get $15 I love their eyeshadow palettes so much their most love mattes they are like just my favorite so I was super excited to get this Gilded Rouge one I think they have like a Gilded Noir now they have some other like combo face palettes as well so I was like well let's pick up this one I feel like the colors kind of intrigue me this is different than their typical packaging so just compare their most love mattes is a little bit smaller and these have about 12 shades in the palette and the packaging as well is just like a little bit um sturdier type of packaging both have a mirror and this one is more of that cardboard packaging but it also still has a mirror and it has about 16 shades so i was like all right let's see what this is about so far i have loved all the other milani palettes i've tried out and for this one i'm just doing like a quick look just kind of test it out and i've already got some thoughts so I figured I would just finish up this side of my eye just to kind of talk to you guys how I feel about this palette would I recommend it or not and we can quickly go through the rest of the face so first I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Mac soft ochre paint pots on this side of my eye and I was really torn about like what type of look should I do and once I started playing with some of the eyeshadows I was like well <laughs> well let's do something simple like this because i feel like swatching and everything <laughs> let me insert a swatch for you guys here of all the different colors and we can kind of talk about them i feel like some of they have like a mixture i feel like a lot of these look very like satiny not like full on matte unless you maybe kind of dip your brush into it a little bit more i was a little confused like is this matte is this satin i'm not sure like the color peach fuzz it looked a little bit like slight shimmers once i kind of like initially dipped my brush in there i was like okay no i think that's a matte i thought sangria was kind of satiny and rose soiree but once i kind of dipped my like swatch and dipped my brush it looked maybe a little bit more matte i don't know same thing with overbaked it was interesting they have these shimmery shades femme and wifey which are glitter glitter central and then you have maybe more of your shimmers like eth ethereal ethereal sorry on taupe wait what avec moi you know which are like your traditional types of shimmer so this is the first time i've seen those glittery femme and wifey in this palette which when you swatch them honestly i feel like they're great toppers i feel like on their own it's not going to be much i feel like you need to have like a nice a base whether it's another shadow and then you can top it off type of a deal so just going to go ahead and take some of my nyx hd finishing powder and just set my eye in preparation so the first shade i went in with was here peach fuzz i'm using my sonia kashuk fluffy brush and this is just going to be like a nice light transition on my skin tone it kind of you can see that little peachiness on there but yeah this formula if, if it's a matte i feel like it just feels a little bit different like the formulas feel different than their traditional palettes their mattes i'm a little confused by the mattes in this palette it doesn't feel like they're mattes you know it feels like a satiny matte i don't know if that's what they were going for but it's like okay you know but it just feels different it's not that same like impressive formula i feel i don't know if it's the same but it just feels a little bit different type of a deal like that pigmentation i feel like i have to work a little bit more for it so for like the next shade that i went in with was over baked which is this really pretty like reddish brick brown shade and i don't know i just feel like this color the blendability like the blendability is good you know like it's good it's interesting like i like it but the pigmentation i feel like i have to build it a little bit more like it's good it's not i don't know it's good it's just it doesn't feel the same like i feel like i just kind of have to like pat in a little bit more but like when i blend it out with other shades i feel like i have to go back in and like re-add a little bit so just kind of like adding that onto the edge and blending it like 
right there just doesn't want to like sit so i feel like i have to like keep reapplying this is definitely yeah, more of a matte didn't look like it until it's like i don't know if it's like an overspray of how it was it's good it's good but yeah i don't know like up close like on the top like i feel like i have to like go over it to like even it out a little bit i don't know just feel like i have to work just a little bit more than like the traditional palettes especially that most love mattes where it's all matte like i know how their mattes work like this has like i think i don't know like if it has like a hint of satin in these maybe some people like that i'm just not used to it just like not what i expected i guess i expected their traditional mattes so that's kind of like what i did there something quick and then here's where i got a little like hmm so i went in because i was just kind of like with that i was like let's just do something quick <laughs> this is a nice base you can kind of do whatever like if we got purple or blue but i was like i'm kind of going out something simple so i went in i was like okay let's do like a base shade and maybe like top it off um with that shimmer so i went in with sangria because i was like do i want to do like a nice transition maybe now that i've kind of um like these don't have as much kick up i feel like as their other ones but i get the quality and the pigmentation from their other palettes this one not as bad unless i like go in there and i feel like with this one i kind of had to like dig in there it was weird like okay at first i thought this was gonna be a satin but i guess it's a matte but like the way it goes on like i don't know i feel like i really have to build it on there like it's not this sangria shit isn't like a pigmented pink i don't know it's like a satin pink I was like, is it satin? Is it matte? It looks kind of satin. But like when first adding on to this eye, I was like, do I have anything on that brush? Like you really have to kind of like dig into the product, dig your brush in and to get like anything on there. I don't know. I'm just not impressed by it. Like the color of it. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. So I was like, you know what? Let's just keep it simple. Cause like just swatching them, I'm just kind of like, they're okay um i feel like i've swatched their other palettes and their other colors like the pigmentation is just beautiful like swatching and these and maybe it's just the color selection or just i'm just like they're just fine you know i'm like i'm just overall not impressed it's just a fine palette i don't see myself really using this and especially i feel like the color selection this to me isn't like my everyday palette this is like a nice like mix it up really like go with colors which is totally fine but i feel like the colors i'm just kind of like that's totally my vibe and i figure like gilded rouge maybe more reds in there or something i don't know but i don't know i just wasn't a f yeah i don't like the way that um over baked over here like it's just like not staying on my eye like i really like i have to go in with more like after i did this i had to go back in and blend that like if you blend the colors it kind of like blends off it's already like blending off right here in this corner so i'm just going to show you the next step that i did and then ethereal ethereal i'm gonna go and honestly with your finger it works the best i tried with the brush it wasn't the best so i'm just gonna go in and just tap this over and i feel like i even had to like re-tap this on my other eye because it kind of like faded when i was blending over baked over it a little bit but like i think this shade is definitely one of those that looks nice layered on top of something on its own i feel like it's not going to do too much this might be like a nice inner corner shade it's just fine so now kind of have to go back in with over baked and i need to fix this over here and i'll probably have to go back in with a thorough but yeah i feel like i just have to add a lot when you blend you have to like re-add whatever other color was outside of it like it's nice but i don't know i just feel like it's a little bit different I'm really curious if anybody else had this experience. I think I prefer my other palettes that come in the different packaging. I don't know if they like did like a lower formula. I don't know. It's fine. Just not the Milani that I know and expect type of a deal. You know, like I think it's fine. Like if this was any other brand, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But I was like, Milani, you, you all had that bar up there for me. So I'm just kind of like meh. I don't know i don't i don't yeah see look okay so i blended i've already have to re-add some of that ethereal on there like it doesn't stay like i feel like i need like a, a glue let me go in with my pinky uh, yeah so i feel like that's why i just kind of like i've seen what i need to type of a deal yeah <laughs> that's why i went simple today i was like we're not going to do more than that and i feel like okay my other eye now I've done this eye and already within the time that it took to transition over 
set up my stuff um i've already lost the shimmer on this side like it just does not stick like it looks really nice like that when you initially put it on for some reason it just does not last i'm like excuse me so next thing that i did i've already done my brows i use my maybelline brow ultra slim pencil and i've added my maybelline dream urban cover foundation and today i actually use something new i'm interested to try it out it's the elf jelly pop their dewy primer underneath it felt very much like that hydro grip primer um from milk so i was like oh it's gonna be like more dewy drugstore alternative because i was only eight dollars compared to the tiny sample from Sephora, the milk one, which is 15. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and I'm not doing anything crazy today. I'm just gonna add some lashes, but not doing a wing. Just going to line. Just gonna finish up the rest of my face really quickly, going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Really been liking this. Just gonna clean up underneath the eyes. I think my only like favorite part of this palette is the large mirror. <laughs> the rest, I don't know, I'm just... The fact that that like glitter shimmer did not stick around for like 10 minutes, <laughs> not even like two, I don't know. I just feel like it's not the usual quality. Let me know if anybody else has experienced this. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with my NYX HD finishing powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes real quick and I'll be right back. So I actually did the rest of my face. I'll list the products down below in the description bar of everything that I use. I'm just gonna go ahead once more, take this little shimmery ethereal shade and just add some to the corner of my eye. Let's see how long that lasts <laughs> throughout the day. Like it looks really pretty. I think it's just like a nice inner corner highlight but I feel like it's just not gonna last to keep this look casual looking since obviously I'm wearing like a t-shirt or something I'm not gonna do my under eyes gonna mix it up a little bit today I pat it on maybe a little bit more here let's add I feel like I just have to keep adding the shimmer on here like it looks really nice and layered like it looks nice I just feel like if I were to wear this look all night it probably would not last um I think I just had an okay experience. I think if this was maybe another brand of like eyeshadows I haven't ever really used, I think I would have been like, hey, this is pretty good. But I feel like the fact that I've used Milani shadows before, I know how they perform, like blend. I think my experience just wasn't the same. I think it's a good palette. It's not my favorite, you know? Like the color, I don't see myself kind of picking up this palette all the time. I think I'm going to reach for my other ones. I think it was nice, something new and different. I'm still curious. Let me know if you guys are interested in their other. Um, I think it's also like their Gilded line of uh, palettes where they have a mixture of eyeshadows and like highlights and like contour stuff in there. I'm curious about those. Let me know if after this review, you guys are as well. Curious to see if that formula is a little bit different. I think it's good. I think if you picked it up, I think you'll still kind of have fun with it. But for me, someone who has used their other palettes, I don't know. I just don't see myself reaching for it too much. Like, I think the look came out really nice. This was super simple and easy, you know, but like, I just feel like, uh, I don't know. It's just not going to last. I don't know. For some reason, it's already kind of like fading a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's okay. Let me know if you guys have picked it up, if you've played with it, if you had a similar experience. I feel like it was about $20. For me, I think their other palettes are worth $20. This one, maybe like $15, $13, you know, something like that from Ulta type of a deal. But let me know if you guys have enjoyed it or not, if you've experienced something like me. But just wanted to play with it really quickly and just kind of see what it's all about because I know I was curious. I know some of you guys were curious as well. So thank you guys so much for watching though. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with some more videos. And I do have a new NYX, they're like Dreamer, Modern Dreamer, or something like that palette coming up next. So hopefully we have better luck with that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.